If you love avocado toast, you're going to love our Southern Avocado Scrambler. Hi, I'm Angie. Hey, I'm Eddie. Thanks for joining us here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen for Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Southern Avocado Scrambler. Now, if you love avocado toast, you're going to love this, but you're going to love the fact that it's really avocado toast without the toast. Yeah, you can still make it with the toast. You can put all of this on some toast. But if you're wanting to save some carbs, yep. then, you know, try the Southern Avocado Scrambler. And if you're taking part in our 75-25 challenge, then let me tell you, this is 75% healthier at least than oh, avocado toast. More. And we love avocado toast. Oh. We love avocado because avocado is so great for you. So what we're starting out with is I have fried up a flat omelet or a frittata, whatever you want to call it. And so we're just going to put it on the plate and we're going to build our little scramble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we have yum, yum. a little flat egg. This is two eggs. You could do one egg. You could do four eggs. Doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. Then we are going to add our mashed up avocado. Now we have added about a half a teaspoon of lime to keep it from turning brown. So we're going to just slather this on because you know, this is like roto rooter for the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Avocado. We did also fry the egg in um, avocado oil. So we really like avocado here at the perfectly imperfect kitchen. You can't OD on avocado. No, you can't. It is it is great. And then we are going to add two slices of bacon to the top. You can't go wrong with bacon. Bacon. If you um are cutting back, you can use Canadian bacon, which I really like. Sometimes I like that better. Some of these bacon, these meat alternatives are not bad. You're right. We're going to be talking a lot more about this. Then we're going to add tomato. You can add a slice. I can a cube to the tomato today. And you might want it to get to room temperature. I don't know why I got this so cold. But tomatoes are better at room temperature. Then on that, we're going to add a little garlic powder. Yeah, just give it a little flavor. Okay, a little flavor. There we go. Yum, yum. And salt and pepper. There we go. However much. You know, tomatoes are one of those things that have to have salt. Have to. I, I don't know. Uh, tomato and eggs, for that matter, really need a bit of salt. Oh, Just sneezing. don't overdo it. Yeah, no sneezing. I did that the other day. Video. Then Parmesan cheese. You can put whatever cheese you want. We chose Parm. Just delicious. It's beautiful. Let's just pour all that cheese on there. Oh, yeah. And a little hot sauce. How about that? A little kick. Yeah. It's very beautiful, very delicious, and um, you're going to love it. And let me tell you, I urge you to take part in the 75-25 challenge. It's a really good thing to try to live 75% healthier. If you're tired of these extreme diets, we, we really want you to take part in this, where you can still have many of the things you love, just 75% healthier. So stick with us. And uh, we just want to thank you for joining us here at the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen for Life Square. See you soon. Bye now. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.